So my last tutorial, I taught you how to deal with the .mog files. Uh, that's the multi-track augs, where all the tracks are in a single file, uh, and uh, as I guess they're ripped from the Rock Band games. And uh, that's a little bit convenient because you get all the tracks in a single file, but you have to do that whole trick where you uh, you know split the tracks into their stereo sets and then convert it to stereo. Um, and uh, you know that's kind of time consuming. If you can get the tracks instead in these separated .aug files, it's actually more convenient. I'm going to show you why that is. Um, and uh, Audacity does register itself with Windows as a handler for these .aug files. So you can just you know right click a .aug file, pick one of the set associated with a particular song, and just say open with Audacity, or it might even be your default handler for that file type. And that'll uh, create a new project, and it'll just have that one track. Now, in this case, it's a bass drum, but it's in stereo. Uh, so you, you see two waveforms there, but it is one track. Uh, sp you know, and it does have a, a stereo image left and right. Um, but if you play it, you're just going to hear the bass drum. So you want to add those other tracks from those other files. The way you do that is use File, Import, Audio and you locate those other files that are associated with the same song. You don't re-import that first one that we already opened. You just select all the others, and you can do that with the multi-select using control click or shift arrow, and then open. And that'll add all those tracks into this project that you already have open. And then once you've done that, you can change the mix as far as the volume level between the different instruments. You can change the stereo panning. Um, you know, if you want to mute certain instruments, you can certainly do that. Just, you know, isolate uh, different tracks or different sets of instruments. Um, so, you know, generally this will sound pretty good just as it is, but you might want to adjust levels. Or just solo something, just maybe, li you know, listen to it or solo sets of tracks. So once you have the mix that you're happy with, uh, you probably want to save the project in Audacity. And you can just give it, uh, you know, file name. You want to keep the .aup extension and just, you know, say something like, you know, my mix or whatever. And that allow you to go back later and change your mix, you know, if there's something you want to adjust and, you know, with it. Um, but that's not a file that you can play on a CD player or MP3 player or whatever. So if you want to uh, ma burn a CD or make an MP3 or any other format, you want to use the file export option. And then uh, you can choose your file format and your file name and it'll mix it down to stereo for you and uh, give you something that you can play on your your other uh, media players or whatever. Um, again, this is uh, using the uh, version 1.3 of Audacity. I haven't had the uh, courage to try their version 2 yet, but this software is pretty great. And uh, I wanted to give a shout out to Andrew. Thanks for the files, and I hope this was helpful. That's it.